Hello everyone and welcome to Creative Design and Supply. Today I want to show you a little hack on how you can sublimate on glitter and then press it on a shirt. The only little thing that you need is parchment paper. Okay, um, I have sheets of it so I'm able to do that but now this right here is butcher paper and I like to fold mine up in sublimation. Um, so now I have my parchment paper right here along with my butcher paper folded. Okay, so the key to this is you want to make sure whenever you're taking this stuff off that you are taking it off and you are not stretching it. So let me sit that over to the side. And I like to, when I say that, I like to pull it back like this. That way we're really not stretching it um, because this needs to line up with our sublimation print. Okay, so now that I have that, and you're going to need that carrier sheet again, um, unless you have extras, um, I like to use the same carrier sheet. So now what I am going to do, before I flip this over, I'm going to line this up to the best of my ability, and then we are going to sublimate. Now, I did find that my, um, the Caesar does not cut without registration marks. So, I went back to the trusty silhouette, tack these down, and I'm gonna start from right here. Now, you can get this print from us. This is the Vintage Pink Santa. Now, you can get it in sublimation also, and we have it in a leopard print also. Really cute. Now, I'm not gonna do too much of this because I don't wanna twist and turn this. I just wanna make sure. So, I have a little bit down here. I think this is where um, I went to print it. And if you want to, you can turn around and do a print and cut. Um, on the paper. I have done that before also. Um, I didn't think this was necessary, so I don't. Now, um, Caesar Juliet and Leonardo did a wonderful job on the print and cut. Um, let me see if I can get it. So there is an easier hack and I have the video on there to where you sublimate on it and then you cut it out, which is wonderful. Um, I just wanted to try for the silhouette users and um, show you this is the way that I have always done it. So let me go ahead and get down here and we are going to do this part of his beard. Well, I say. All right, so we're just going to go with there, and I am just going to lay it back down flat. Now the parchment paper is on here, okay, and I am going to sublimate at 385 for 60 seconds, all right? Okay, so I'm going to give it a few seconds to cool off because I don't want any um, because it's still kind of active, the ink, once it's heated to a certain temperature. All right. So now let's take a look and see what we have here. The fact that I'm going to let this cool down and then I'm going to take this off because if not I'm going to stretch it. 
look at how cute that turned out. Okay. So now it is fairly cool. So I want to go ahead. You don't want it to completely cool down. You just want it to cool down enough to where you can manage it. Okay, so now that it is off of the parchment paper, I'm going to take the same one that I had and I'm gonna do the top part first. That way it lays down, okay? Now I'm going to get my shirt. I had a little rip right here because I forgot that I don't want to tape this to it. It's not like sublimation. And I'm going to get that little piece of tape off of there. There we go. All right, and now we are going to press that on a shirt. Before I do that, I am going to drop my press back down to 320, and I'm going to press it for um, about 10 seconds. Press this real quick before I put a carrier on it. Okay, so now that that is pre-pressed, I'm still, even though I'm going to use my carrier sheet, I'm still going to put a cover over this because if... If the fumes leak out, what it is, sublimation is an ink that is heated up to a gas and turns and adheres to a polyester substrate. So my polyester substrate was the glitter. And this is just to protect your heat press and to make sure that everything is okay. So now I'm gonna press it at 320 for 10 seconds. Okay. And then, now you have a beautiful Santa Claus. Vice versa from the Caesar to the, uh, Caesar Juliet to the Silhouette. Silhouette, I'm able to print without registration marks from my sublimation printer, um, the Sawgrass. And you're going to want to print from your sublimation, um, your print manager, not just your Sawgrass printer. You're wanting to print from your sublimation from your um, Sawgrass print manager. Now on the uh, Caesar Juliet, I'm able to do a print and cut on both my sublimation print and my glitter, so that way I can do the same thing on this, but I'm putting my registration marks on it. Now, I have a video on this one. You can see this one. This is under sublimation hacks and tutorials. Um, so, either one of them work. Now, I did get a little bit of a white line up here because I think that whenever I tried to do the um, silhouette or the Caesar, um, I got my sizes mixed up. That's where my black line didn't come in down here. But it looks fine. Um, this is a tutorial um, I wanted to show you. And do not tape your, uh, your HTV to your paper. Tape it to the your folded paper um, for your parchment paper. That way you don't get any rips. But mine looks pretty good. I can't even feel it. All right. If you have any questions, comment below. And um, look out. I have another video on sublimating on a black shirt coming up next. All right. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, comment below. And I'll be glad to help you. And as always, have a great day. Thanks.